Well, I'm glad to say welcome back. I'm still here. And I've healed up pretty well. I'll make a little apology for the last one. It was fun, though. But I did get out of Milton, finally. Uh, you know, Matthew A. wrote in and was asking about the, uh, the achievements. And, you know, this is a little weird at this point on this particular run. Uh, just to bring everybody up to date on that. With the music playing over the top of me. Um, the problem here is I have to keep this running in the background at all times because I'm pretty sure that if I shut down the long dark and restart, this run's going to go away. It's going to sync up and this will be gone because the journal already has me dead in this run. So, um, I mean, we're not doing bad with regards to this. And, uh,. You know, let's see. Um, 33 days. There's a lot of uh, achievements I already got, and during the course of them updating and so on, I've lost them. You know, because I do have penitent. I had penitent scholar, and I Timberwolf Mountain getting to the top, and having a fire burn for three days. You know, deep forest and wrapped in furs and. I did get Resolute Outfitter on this uh, particular run, but I died. I still have the achievement, but it's, uh, I haven't even gotten it. Well, I got it, I got it in Milton before. Um, it says I'm 28 out of 50 days in on Silent Hunter, but I'm not quite sure if it's this or not because I don't know if they count the flare gun as a weapon. If they do, then it's not this run. Um, you know... It shows living off the land that I'm not, that, that doesn't really count. That's just consecutive days in a run. So, you know, I do, I, I would like to get all the achievements and it shows I have like 38%, but I really have like 50% or did. In any case, you know, um, Uh, yeah, I did, I did, you know, I went all through Timberwolf Mountain here and went to the top a couple times, and so, and it just, you know, it's hard to keep up with, since they've done so many updates, since I started playing, it's a little tough, um, I don't know, I think I did this because I, I really didn't like the scripting part of the runs uh, for instance like interloper it's always you know really exciting at the beginning and then once you get through and craft and you do everything and then you start just oh wow once again huh once you start just surviving on a day-to-day -day basis it yeah it gets, gets kind of boring yeah, you, you make some bear kills and stuff like that, and those are fun. And, you know, like LMG, it's to the point where it gets ridiculous at some point because you've got stuff all over the world. You've, you know, now toward the end, I'd say once you get up to 200, 300 days, then it starts getting a little iffy. You're going to have to start scrambling again. So uh, there's a, you know, beginning and a middle and a late game, you know, way to look at it. Uh, I just chose this kind of my own script. Not to say that, look, my footprints are still here. I did come out here, take a look. It wasn't foggy. It was clear as could be just like a minute ago. Okay. Came out here and took a look around and... Uh, I grabbed a few stones because, and here again, I don't know what's out there. Um, I am. I imagine there there could be a wolf up here. I'm not really familiar with this area as far as 
haven't been up here many times. I haven't seen a wolf up here maybe the three or four times I've been up here, but Turkey says he's encountered a wolf up here before, I think. There's deer up here. There's rabbits up here, so little noises could be that. Uh, I do plan to just, you know, go back to sanity and try to play more cautiously. Um, I am aware of what's up ahead of me here. I do still plan to go to, to Broken Railroad. So, I'm going to have to use stones, I guess, to uh, lure these wolves away or else I'm going to have to take a, you know, a convoluted way around them to get to the, the rail line. And I don't really want to do that. I'm not really getting that cold. I could be better if I'd just gone ahead and fixed my clothing up. I probably wouldn't be cold right now at all. Um, I do need to get some sticks just in case I need to throw up a fire quickly. And I'm not too much overweight. Uh, I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. But as far as the achievements, I mean, eventually I'm probably going to die in this run. And if I do, I'll go ahead and restart. Because there's still a, a hotfix that I haven't downloaded. That's a deer. I think. For the moment, um... For the moment, let's kind of... Stay up here by the rock face, or by the edge, and navigate around. This could get ugly. I don't know about that. I'm not sure that's a deer or a rabbit, I just don't know. Something stirring out there in the uh, in the mist. I I do believe that the wolves are also hindered in the fog because I've crouched and of course this was I, that sounds like a deer. Uh, I I remember being up on Timberwolf and going through the crates by the engine, and I was you know, five feet away from them, crouching and wandering around, and I wove in and out all around them and got all the crates. I don't know how they didn't hear the crates open and closing, but they didn't attack me, and I got out of there in the heavy fog, which I used to really not care. I would try everything. I mean, I cared. I didn't want to lose the run, but it didn't stop me from... Attempting things I probably shouldn't have. But I do think the fog does hide you a bit from the wolf's sight. Whether that's still true, I don't know. Now, as per my previous attempt at this, there are several wolves down the hill here when I climb down off of here. So... Yeah, we're going to have to just proceed with caution. I would rather not shoot this flare and my last flare. So, I will use a stone. Of course, with this fog that I'm hoping is going to lift, it may not. In which case... I just have to find a cave. And get out of the weather. Yeah, I don't think I can get down here though, can I? Or not not safely. I don't know, I'm gonna go over here and take a look. Cause I don't have the rope over there. And I do need to get down, but I think this is a bit too steep.
but I will traverse this edge and see. I know there's a place that's uh, optimal to, to do this. <clears throat> but as far as scripting goes, eh, I don't mind. I, I, the one thing I do love about this game is you get to make it up as you go along. There's nothing that's forcing you to do anything at any time other than, you know, the obvious. You're in danger, you're going to die, and you need to take care of it. But, I mean, as far as where you're going, what you're doing, you can change your mind anytime you want to and deviate from the path entirely. So, I, I like that. There are way too many games out there that force you through a certain path, even though it, they appear to be, you know, giving you options. They really don't. You're, you're still going to have to talk to certain people and do certain actions to proceed on. So, uh, yeah, I don't know really what to say to that. Uh, after I get through with this, which I, you know, I'm hoping that this goes on for a while. It would be very interesting if it did, because I've certainly put myself at a great disadvantage, but, <coughs> excuse me, but, uh, you know, I don't know. You know how that goes. There's times that you're almost certain you're going to die and you live, and then, well, wait, there. Yeah, it's over here, because that's a little steeper, and then, is it here? Yeah, cert certain times where you think you're going to die and you don't, and then other times where you're just confident you're going to make it, and, you know, you, you die. Yeah, I just went way out of the way for nothing, but I did hear footsteps, so I wasn't quite sure what I was going to encounter. Now, this is a little odd. Uh, this could be in my favor. It means I could sneak up along the edge. But I'm just going to take this slowly, a bit at a time, because I'm 99% sure these wolves are up here. In fact, I'd have to say that this is comparable to a stalker run in so in so far as uh, yeah you know I'm gonna need my hand in so far as the predator population so and I got painkillers if I have to use them all to and this could be to my advantage when it comes to these wolves because other than the noise I'm making this should provide me with some cover I hope I'll know in a second because there's one of them okay let's see I'm walking along and He's going to turn here in a second. I'd be interested to know if he's going to look at me and just... Oh, we're lifting now a little bit, aren't we? He can, he can see me pretty well now. Yeah, he's going to turn around here in a second. Now, this is where it all happened. Is that another one? And when I try to do this too quickly, yep, that's another one. I miss the wolves. I, uh, they do tend to put them up behind trees, and I mean that's that's one I should not miss right there at all, right? Now look, he's gonna come right to me. Okay, good. And there again, I I have to say. I, I would, you know, for me to say, oh, I'm recording and I can do just as well while I'm recording as I can if I wasn't, that's not true. I do stupid things when I'm recording and I'm 
uh, impatient and uh, more impatient and I'm more likely to walk around an area and just not really pay close enough attention and next thing you know there's a wolf there and I would have been more cautious if I wasn't recording I would have gone slower just like this I would not care at all about even getting down to freezing point and I'd crawl through this whole place if I had to because you know does it matter how long it takes me if I'm not recording if it takes me an hour to get to the entrance of Broken Railroad from here what do I care nobody's watching but I'm just not going to take up people's time while I'm recording and crouch like this for too long if, if so I'd be doing it all the time because uh, you know I mean it is it's it's the proper mechanic to use if you're going around wolves you crouch especially if you don't have a weapon a decent weapon a real weapon so and for instance right here I'd say oh well, I'll just you know get up off uh, stand up and run because he's walking the other way and doesn't see me and then I stand up and he turns around and looks right at me and starts running at me well, do I have to stand up and run no I don't so I could take that attitude and just say look I don't care what the what the viewer you know whether I'm boring or not I'm just gonna sit here and crouch and you know go slowly but I, I, I understand I mean I've watched videos of other people and thought you know this is this is boring you know why am I watching this I'd rather uh, I'd rather just go play myself and you know that's the whole thing you know playing the game yourself is much more fun than watching someone else do it Let's see right here. How far is this guy going to go? I doubt he's going to come. Okay. And is that mechanic altered because I backed up? Is the game... The game knows my location at all times, obviously. So, wolf behavior, wolf movement might be predicated upon my reaction. And that's, that's the coolest thing about this game. You can't really detect uh, what they've done as far as the mechanics on all these things. Some things are fairly straightforward, but some things you can't really tell, especially wolf behavior. Wolf behavior is still quite a mystery to me. Uh, for instance, why? Is that normal? Is that his normal route to walk up on the rock? Did I move backwards and, uh, or is he on the rock? He's, uh, yeah. You know, what is, what, what does that mean? When I'm not here, is that what he typically does? Or did my being here alter their movements? And we all speculate. We try to speculate, but we don't know. None of us know for sure. And they've made so many alterations to the game. How would you know? It's going to take every painkiller I got to get around here, isn't it? But see, this is what, and here's a perfect example. When I came through originally, this is what I would have done. But it's one of those uh, overconfidence, you know, beware lest overconfidence consume me. Um, as soon as I got past those first two wolves, I said, oh, I'm free and clear. And we'll just stand up and run over the hill. Well, guess what? Mm, you can try it, but... Uh, there's more wolves over the hill. And so, yeah, I got attacked. Same thing with the garage. You know, I shot that wolf. Did I have to go run to the garage? No. Is there typically a wolf near the garage? Yeah. When I was there earlier, was there? No. <laughs> so, who's to say where they are, when they are? Just, you know, like, like Turkey stated, you know, you... You go out on Mystery Lake, you uh, see no wolves, you walk in a fishing hut, you walk out, there's four wolves. Where do they come from? And I've done it myself. I know exactly what he's talking about. All of a sudden, they spawn in. 
and you would think, which is very cool about this game, because typically when you come in a world area, everything spawns as it spawns, and they're there. That is not true in this game. The spawning it doesn't seem to take place until you actually are in a localized area within the map, and then, and even then, the spawn could change for, as he said, going inside of a hut. So, like, right now, should I stand up and walk out? I, you know, I don't know. I hear footsteps now. Does that mean there's another one? I've never seen one in this spot, but I don't know. But at least I'm safe to do to the transition point at this this moment, so I will. So there you go. It, it's uh. And 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 it's great because this game teaches people a lesson. <laughs> Man, I'm not sure I can carry it has much more. taught me lessons, believe me. Uh, I came into this dying a lot more often than I do now. So I am much more cautious at this point. And I don't take anything for granted. I mean, you know, in my mind. Now, if I make a sudden hasty decision. Believe me, I can say, I know better. I know I shouldn't have done that, but that's that's the whole point. This game will catch you off guard when you think you know how to proceed, and you know that you're safe, and the game shows you that, no, you're not safe. And I've seen many players come into this game and just go on Interloper and go, yeah, I can do this, it's no problem, it's just a walking simulator, this is nothing. And they die, and they die, and they die, and they die. I'm talking about people that play are hardcore gamers. They play a lot of other games. And they're just used to, uh, you know, getting up to speed quickly. And, you know, they think, I can come in here and I don't know anything about this game. I'll just figure it out as I go along. Now, that'd be fine if you want to go to Voyager or something. And you want to... And even then, the wolf populations are high. Um... <laughs> There's really no good, unless you want to go to Pilgrim, where, they're, where they don't attack you. But uh, other than that, no, you're in trouble with this game. See, like that. You, you know for a fact they put those trees that close together for a reason. They want you to run in there and think, I'm going to go hide up in here and go run through here and get away from the wolf. And he's going to come up here and he, he's going to lose sight of me. No, you're going to get stuck between the trees and it's going to attack you. This game was carefully designed to make you look like a fool. And my hat is off to Hinterland, <clears throat> excuse me, for just that. Just like this right here. Could I just move along? You know, somebody's going to look at me like, come on, go, let's go, let's go. Mm, yeah, yeah, and I'll die. I still may die even being careful. So. <laughs> yeah. This is a brilliant game. There's no doubt. No doubt at all. And, of course, the devs have, have are, you know, skilled in knowing what makes a game tough. And what is too easy about a game, and so on, so. Now, this isn't the normal way to get down, I know, but it's also much closer to get across there to go across the tree. And there is a wolf down here. And I have no doubt with this particular run that there's not, maybe not just one wolf, there may be multiple wolves, so. When I first came here the first time, I just ran around and looked for cattails and got killed by the wolf. Because 
believe me, they set it up to where you just you may not see the wolf initially and you think you're safe. And by the time you hear him barking at you, you may be freezing, you may have lost condition and think, oh, I'm safe, it's no big deal, I'll go to a cave and I'll get my condition back and it's all good. That's when the wolf comes and gets you. Right? So, like I said, they've made sure that they got a lot of gotchas in here. Wolf may be up over this hill. There he is right there. Now, understand that he can still get up here in a moment. If you're up here uh, elevated and think, oh, well, I'm elevated, the wolf can't get me. Yeah, think again. Not only can he get up here, he may be up here in four seconds. I've seen wolves and bears go everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to crouch here because he, he could turn around any second as well and see me. And I just don't want to be in a, uh, you know, a, a, a race with a wolf to get to safety. If you're going to avoid the wolves, you're going to have to be stealthy. And it's, it's boring for the people who watch. I know it is. But, you know, this is Broken Railroad, so. This is no joke right here. I have not seen a wolf this far, you know, like right in this area here. Yeah, if my clothing was up in a little better shape, I probably wouldn't be getting cold at all right now. And that's another thing. Can he hear me? Is there a point along where I'm walking that he can hear me? Can he get up here without having to go across the street? These are questions that are almost unanswerable. Probably by this point by even the devs. The way they've, uh, they've set up the, the wolf mechanics, it may be a little, you know, quite unpredictable. You could ask them, well, what might a wolf do in this particular, uh, you know, situation with this, uh, with this landscape and this setup? That's beautiful, huh? I do hear some footsteps, I think. I doubt they can answer you. For instance, going up underneath uh, an overhang like this, the wolves are not supposed to come up here like th be able to get you. Now, I don't know if this overhang constitutes. I know they can't get underneath areas where you crouch. So, you know. And for instance, like that right there. Is it better for me to climb up? Can I get around this whole area by climbing up a certain spot? I'm sure there's places that we've all missed that are little shortcuts, that are ways to, you know, go around dangerous areas. But with permadeath, a lot of times you're just playing careful and you never step out of your comfort zone, if you know what I mean, for whatever comfort zone you can have in this game. Now, I can't feel my hands. Yeah, and you know, I just, I don't think there's any caves. If there is, I don't know where they are. I could probably go back to that fire, but then it's going to be dark. Um, you know, this is one of those, I hope I can get to my destination before it gets so dark I can't see, but I don't know. Damn. Wow, I'm glad I have a multitude of painkillers.
my particular situation with my food, um, the bedroll, my clothing, my medication is really the only reason I'm going to try this. I don't have the gun, and I don't have the bow, and you know, I can't say that that would necessarily get me through this, you know? I am just, I am just as likely to miss and still get mauled. Unfortunately, I don't like to say that, but it's true. time before it gets pitch black but I'm gonna be freezing yeah I think I'm gonna end up in uh... oh boy which way feels like night is coming yeah, it could be kind of stuck here. I tell you what, let's just do this. It's so cold. Up a bit. No. Damn it! How did that? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Excuse me. Is it wind? Um, block from the wind. Oh, you just wanted to take my lap. Wait, I have. Oh no, that was land. No, I have lantern fuel. I have sticks too. Accelerant. Oh come on. I. Are you? T okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not even gonna check. I'll uh, make a coffee, heat up a coffee, and get my warmth back up. And I was going to pull a torch out, but <laughs> it's on. see there again. It's almost like the game read my mind. I stood up, I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to pull a torch out, and bam, there was the wind, like on cue. <laughs> you know, and that's not the first time, believe me. I have done that many times. What I'm just about to do, I can't do. Immediately. Nine degrees, I'm still not warming up. Nine minutes. Good. Well, since I'm kind of in, in a dire situation, I'm not worried about using resources. Because this is kind of like extraordinary situation, right? Typically, I would not be putting myself in this situation. It just makes no sense to do so. Oh, look at that. So maybe, is this like the game rewarding me for being pragmatic? Could be. Now, my intention was to, during the day, use a rock to divert the wolf because there's that pinch point. And I could throw a piece of coal on here. 
Uh, is it that cold still? Let's see how cold it is. It's not really, really, really cold, so... What I'm going to do is... I'm actually, because I made a 100% torch... Well, you're in the right place the first time. See, that can't be used for accelerants, huh? Yeah, it's alright. I'm not going to pull a torch out of that, because it's only going to be 50%. Now this may be under run, I don't know. And this is only gonna hold the wolf at bay. Oh, that's true. I better check real quick. I doubt I have tinder. Let's see there, see what it did? It's like it's saying to me, you, you know, oh, he doesn't know he doesn't have tinder. He could make a fire when he gets to the wolf, but ha ha ha, he doesn't have tinder. We took that fire from him and we took his tinder and he used his other one. Uh, you know, does that happen? I tend to think it does. <laughs> I do tend to think it does. I don't know what to say on that account. Um, it happens a lot. How many times have I run a deer into a wolf, walk up there to make a fire, and I have no tinder? And of course, there again, do I know all the uh, locations of all the caves? Do I know where to run to? The game punishes you for not knowing as well. And say if you did and I've seen other people do it I've seen other people be right there be right there at salvation you know they they wandered around for an hour and all they would have to do is take you know a hundred steps that way and they go the exact opposite way and look at this bunny just mocking me Okay, this is a dead end. But I know the wolf is right up here. Or, shall I say, I know the wolf area is right up here. And that's a whole other thing. You find yourself being so, so cautious because you're certain you need to be and you don't need to be the thread is not there and you spent all this time crouching doing all this and it's for nothing and now you're freezing to death because you waste all that time and there was absolutely no reason to do so and you get up and go run and in a place where you're certain you're safe you run right into the wolf that's what I said they want you to die. That's the whole key to this game. They're trying to kill you. So this is it. This is the spot, right? I know you are, but uh, considering that I'm taking you into the belly of the beast, it's not surprising. You should be yelling at me for even going in here. Yeah, here comes the wind again. And this is why I like a 100% torch. Um, 
I could pull out a flare, which I probably will do. Do it. I don't. So do I, yeah, I have two flares. Well, I would stand up, but I think you know what will happen if I stand up. I'm surprised I haven't already got attacked crouching through this whole area, so... And there's... there, you know, I... Are there wolves? I absolutely am almost positive. 99% positive there's wolves up here. I did die up here the last time I came here. I wasn't that far from the uh, warehouse. Well, there's there would be a spot to crouch in. In fact, I think this is right about where I died. I was in this area, and they came at me from that direction. There were two of them, and I I kind of panicked, and then I didn't have my bedroll. I think I shot one, or I don't even remember. But once I had, uh, you know, alleviated the threat, I didn't have my bedroll. And I was exhausted. And, yeah, I think I, I killed one, and I still had to deal with one. And I had a fire going. But... Didn't have enough to sleep, you know. So it wasn't as though, uh... Wasn't as though there was anything else I could do. I even went and grabbed some firewood to keep the fire going, but... It was too late. Man, all I can think about is mm. food! And a lot of times that happens. You know, you you know how to, you know, keep it going a little while, but you realize that you're fighting a losing battle. And, you know, I ended up walking all the way from here, all the way back to Forlorn Muskeg, and, tr you know, back through the, uh, the tunnel to get to my bedroll that I left, so... And I made it. That's the thing. I mean, that there you go. I did. I had. I was a hundred, almost a hundred ninety-nine point nine percent sure that there was no way that I was going to make it back to that tunnel until my bedroll. And when I did, I was shocked. I mean, I, I was literally shocked. And when I saved myself, got my condition back up. I don't know. I think I was delirious or something. Because I said, well, let me get out of here and get back to Mystery Lake. And then I just lost it right there in the middle of Forlorn. I could have done many other things to have gotten myself out of that situation. But I, I don't even know what I was doing at that point. Am I gone in a circle? There's no way. I did not cross the road. I've been next to this perimeter, so there's no way that I made a circle here. But it almost feels like I have. I don't know. Okay, there's the truck. Okay, um... If this is like a stalker run, this uh, this area is going to have some wolves in it. Now maybe nighttime aids me while I'm crouching and sneaking. I doubt it. I imagine the wolves can see pretty well in the dark. I don't know. And I'm sitting here with a torch in my hand, so... 
Yeah, the luck, I mean, I have food. That's the other thing. I can regain condition, so it's not as though... I don't have the resources to, uh, to correct my situation. If, in fact, I lose... But then, then again, here you go. By the time you get to the most critical spot, where you're probably going to get no wolf attack... Your condition's down enough to where, bam, you're dead. So, six of one half does the other. You save yourself out of one situation and find yourself in another life-threatening one. Just a little ways down the road. I mean, I'll admit it, I have not been in this warehouse. I have not gotten this far. I've come out here twice, and I died twice. So, you know. And back there about 100 yards is further as I've gotten. And if the wind wanted to just come up violently right now and kill me. And... So, so hungry. Why am I going to, oh, the wind. See, here you go. Here you go. I'm moving extra slow because the wind is, is uh, picked up. Now, if I get in this little shed, I can sleep in here with my bedroll. If, if I can get in the shed. But I would be willing to bet if I stood up right now even to go this short distance. Mm. Mm -mm. I have no idea where the wolves are. All right. Oh, there's... <laughs> okay. What is my temperature? Feels like 12 degrees, so that'd be... <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing too good here. Uh... Is there... Can I make a fire in here? Uh, I don't think it's gonna be, I don't think I have long enough to, uh... Even if I did, I couldn't keep it going and I don't think I can make a fire in there anyway, so... It's either get into this spot and get into the warmer area in here or die. In fact, you know, I could use a stem. This is this is excessive though. You know, if I would have to use a stem here just to get in this building, that that'd be pretty sad. Would not speak well of my abilities to do this. And does this wind have to be in my face right now? I mean game, really? You know, let it go. I don't even know where the door is exactly. I know it's right beyond that truck, but I could be wrong. So if I stood up and decided to run, well... Because I can't see well at all. I see it now. Wow, no wolf. Okay, that's cool. Okay, nice. Alright, where is this office? You know, the one that's actually warm? Okay, I'm warm in here, good. Alright, we made it. The, the thing is, is I'm going to have to get out of here too. 
cotton scarf. Well, we got the flare. We're warming up. We might as well take a look. You stayed with me this long. You, you <laughs> that certainly must have bored you to death, but you know. What can I say? It is what it is. I was really interested to see what the loot was going to be at this present run. I, wow. Yeah, I know what it looks like on the interloper. Not much to it at all. Whew, this pack is getting kind of heavy. I was hoping this was going to be worth my while, so... This is, uh... You know, for... If you if you haven't been out here or haven't been out here on anything but interloper, well, this is a I don't know stalker slash oh looky there looky there. Yeah, Mr. Wolf, you ate my ear wrap, but I got one back. How's that? This will go out. We'll get some sleep. I'll take it. Maybe later. We'll run out of leather. All right, well, this torch is going to go out, and uh, I don't want to just kind of haphazardly go. In fact, I don't know. I'm, uh, it is a, like I said, a stalker slash oh, I could eat a horse. Voyager type of uh, loot. So, you know, I'll let you all see this loot. This isn't like a huge place like the dam, so why not, you know, come with me on the loot? Because this... This is fairly a new place, and I haven't seen this looted but a few times myself, so. We will uh, take a look in the daytime and, you know, see what we got. Alright. Let's eat and stuff like that, and, um. Let's do uh, some crackers and sardines. And no, I'm not going to alternate between two to make it appear as though <laughs> eating both. But, you know, they are good combos, so I'll do them together. Yum. Wow. I am still at half. I would have thought I'd been more tired than that. Um, just because I lost uh, a decent amount of condition and I don't have that much time to sleep, we'll do the tea. Probably need get five out of it, but we'll go for it. Yeah, that hypothermia risk was uh, climbing up there pretty good, but I was only 50%. I'm still down a little bit. Uh, all right, I will, you know, get to daylight and whatnot, and kind of uh, regroup, look at my situation, and then uh, I'll restart it up, and we'll loot this place and see what the loot table looks like on a, like I said, Voyager slash Stalker. I don't know really where this it's a custom, so I'm not quite sure. But I don't have the rifle in the game, so that means I'm not gonna find MREs. I don't think. Because the weird thing is I found an arrowhead. So typically an arrowhead is something that you're only going to find with the rifle. But they've changed it. So I don't know. 
all right well we're at broken railroad we didn't die voila and you know when you come back we'll loot so i'll see you back here soon